Hello sunshine, this is Joy from Michigan in the US and today I am going to do a nice big pour on this 20 by 20 deep edge canvas. I had a rough pour, my last one if you watched that video. So I'm looking for something that is much more soothing, much more my style, something that um, hopefully will flow out of the cup really nice and easy and in a beautiful way. So I have painted my edges with a dark it's like a Payne's gray, but it also had a little more blue in there. It was, it was some leftover drips that I used. So I just did that so that my edges are nice and dark. They, I do not have more of that color to use in the pour, but it's a nice dark color. So I feel like it, it was the right choice. It's going to work out just fine. So this first color that I'm opening right now is a leftover blue. If you've watched very many of my videos, you know I try to save the many paint drips that that are left over and convert it to a new, new color. And this is from several different blue pores. Oh, where's the camera? It is a lovely, don't want to drip, a lovely metallic blue. So it's mostly Prussian blue, but it has some other colors in there as well. So I have my leftover blue, I have permanent black, I have cerulean blue plus white. I've got my 24 karat gold Prussian blue. I've got some rouge that I am debating whether or not I use, but probably will just to have something a little bit different in this pour besides cool colors. Um, sorry, there's a clump I was trying to address. I think I got all of it, so that's good. Okay, so we got that. What other colors do I have? I have my favorite lime green, which is not labeled, which I thought it was. This is, um, it's like a teal color and I'm gonna open it because it looks green because the bottle's kind of stained from previous colors, but that's the color that is, a nice teal. Um, it's probably like blue plus something, but I don't remember. And then I have turquoise green. So we are going to go ahead, oh, and I will be using titanium white. Not much of it, but just enough to add some contrast again.
pretty in this one. I am really, really loving this. And I'm going to wipe up some paint here so that I don't get it all over me. Because that would be just my luck. I almost feel like this isn't enough paint, guys. I'm a little bit nervous, but let's start stretching it and see. We might need to add some flow extender. Yep. All right. I've said it before, but I will say it again, just in case you're new to my channel. Flow extender is whatever color you choose, plus some water to thin it down. And then you just spread it, make sure it's touching your puddle and then stretch. And then this paint will not roll over on itself as you stretch it, it will roll, slide over the uh, flow extender. So I'll be right back. All right, so I ended up using that metallic Prussian blue for my flow extender. And we're just gonna start stretching. Trying to be very careful of which portions of this I'm losing and which ones I'm keeping. I do not like the gold ribbon up on this top edge, the edge farthest from you guys right now. So I'm going to try to lose that. There we go. Okay. Oh, I feel like the colors muddied a bit as they stretched. I'm glad I got pictures before I stretched because it sure was pretty. Not that it isn't pretty now, but there was definitely just something really gorgeous about that. I think I'm gonna stretch off of this corner that's touching the table right now. Don't like what's going on there. Is going to need some help, but I think I like it as negative space. I might even take out some of this here and fill that in with a Prussian blue, just straight Prussian blue, um, which is a good thing because I don't have any of the other color left. Just checking my edges, helping the paint to flow down the corners. That's a big deal. Uh, well, it's, I shouldn't say it that way. It's really not a big deal doesn't have to be a big deal, I should say, um, but it bothers me. So I always go through and make sure my edges are really nicely covered, especially with a thicker canvas like this one. Ooh, that's a big old chunk off the table. Uh, with a bigger canvas like this, a lot of times um, people prefer to hang them without a frame. And so having a deep edge canvas with painted edges makes that completely doable. So, all right, I'm gonna go wash my hands and torch this and then decide what kind of tweaking it needs. All right, 
right, friends, this is going to be a fairly quick one. I do want some more paint up here. There is canvas showing through, even though I did not use any Prussian, straight Prussian blue in this pour. I am filling in with straight Prussian blue since I, I did use the rest of that metallic as the flow extender. So that wasn't really an option for me. Well, there's definitely a chunk there. I don't know that I'm actually getting the chunk, I'm just wasting paint. I got some of it with my tweezers, but okay. So once I add that much paint to the canvas, I generally like to stretch it. But first I'm going to make sure my sides are fully covered. Make sure there's paint to flow down the edges, all of that fun stuff. Make sure my corners are nice and covered. This one is not, for sure not covered. There we go, okay. Um, I think that'll be okay. So I'm just gonna do a very light tilt that way, let that blue run over a little bit. And then come back over here and tip it back. All right. I do believe that is it for this one. I will torch it one more time just to make sure I don't have any air bubbles. And I will let it dry. I think that's it. I thought about wrecking this one. I'm really glad I didn't. There's a lot, a lot of detail. I love this, all these little fingers here and here. It's just, it's really, really pretty. So let me know what you think of this one and I will see you on the next video. Here is our dried piece. It dried really nicely. Some of these colors look pretty dark right now. Once I get some varnish on there, they'll really, really pop. I just love all these lines here. Might be my favorite part. Still have to come up with a name for this one so if you have a name in mind leave it in the comments and let me know that gold right there catches the light just right looks so pretty Look at my favorite lines in the whole piece. All those lovely little fingerlings. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I will see you on the next one.